everyone in this video we are going to discuss few basic terms used in a logics that is logically equivalent statement what do you mean by tautology contradiction contingency satisfiable proposition after that unsatisfiable proposition then with the help of examples we will discuss how to prove that two compound propositions are logically equivalent Let's start with the first term that is logically equivalent. Logical equivalent means suppose we have two compound proposition. If you construct its truth table and we are getting same truth values in all possible cases, we call two compound propositions are logically equivalent. It means अगर आपके पास दो propositions हैं, we need to show that कंपाउंड प्रोपोजिशन P एंड Q दोनों लॉजिकली इक्वलेंट है मींस इनका मीनिंग लॉजिकली सेम है वो हम तभी कह सकते हैं जब इनका आप ट्रुथ टेबल कैलकुलेट करोगे एंड वी आर गेटिंग अ सेम ट्रुथ वैल्यूज एट लास्ट मींस इन व्हाटएवर द केस P स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू इन द सेम केस Q स्टेटमेंट मस्ट बी ट्रू एंड इन व्हाटएवर द केसेस P statement is false. In the same cases, Q must be false. Now, if two statement are logically equivalent, we represent with the symbol this. It means two compound propositions are logically equivalent. Apart from the truth table, there is another definition for the logically equivalent statement. That is. The compound propositions P and Q are called logically equivalent if we take biconditional between these two statements, and that is a tautology. Now, before coming to this definition, we need to know what do we mean by tautology. Basically, a compound proposition is called tautology if that is always true. No matter what the truth value of the propositional variables that occur in it means, जब आप किसी भी proposition का truth table construct करते हो, at the last आपके पास statement में सिर्फ true 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 ही available है, चाहे proposition true हो या false हो, लेकिन result हमेशा true मिले, that statement is called as a tautology. For example, if I take the statement of this form P or negation P, a P proposition आपकी कुछ भी हो सकती है suppose P is two is even number. Now how to read this one according to this? It say that two is even number or two is not even number. So whether the statement is true? Yes. If I say P is a statement. Two is not even number. So not of P is two is even number. Now write the statement. It's like two is not an even number, or negation of P is two is even number. Still the statement is true. So such statements are always true. Even you can check it from the truth table. Suppose we have a P proposition that is true. In that case, negation P is false. And if you take P or negation P, that is true because we need one statement as a true in a OR operator. And if P statement is false, negation P is true. In that case, P or negation P is true. It means whatever the propositional variable value may be true, may be false. Overall result is true. Such statement is called as a tautology. Now let's move back to the logical equivalent definition. It say that अगर आपके पास कोई compound propositions हैं, and if we take biconditional operator between two sentences. And if we are getting tautology, means the statement is always true, then we call it as logically equivalent statement. Then we can also write P is logically equivalent to Q. 
Next term is contradiction. Now, what do you mean by contradiction? Suppose we have any compound proposition that is always false. Such statement is called as a contradiction. Like if we say 2 is even number and 2 is not even number. That is completely incorrect. It says that 2 even number be here as well as 2 is not even number. That is completely incorrect statement. So no matter whether the proposition is true or false, overall result is false. So such statements are called as a contradiction. Based on this one, we can say that example is take any proposition, then take its negation and put and in between these two statements. That is always a contradiction. We can also check this one with the help of truth table. If P proposition is there, the possible values are either true or false. Negation P is, if this is true, negation P is false. And if P proposition is false, negation P is true. Now operate and operator between these two statements. So when you operate and, and operator is true only in a one case when both are true otherwise false. So right now both are not true. So it means it is a false. Even in this case both are not true it means it is a false. So overall result is false. It means the statement is contradiction. Next term is contingency. A compound proposition that is neither a tautology nor a contradiction is called contingency. Till now we have done two statement. One is tautology and second is a contradiction. Now suppose if there is a statement that is not a tautology as well as not a contradiction. That statement is called as a contingency. For example, if I take P and Q. This statement is what? If you take the truth table of this one, there are four possible cases. P is true, then Q can be true or false. If P is false, Q can be true or false. Now we need to take P and Q. So P and Q is true only in a one case when both the statements are true, otherwise false. Now ye ek aise statement hai, neither completely true statement, not completely false statement. So it is acting sometime as a true as well as sometime acting as a false depending upon the case P and Q. So such statements are called as a contingency. So we can also state that a compound proposition that is sometimes true and sometimes false is called contingency. Moving towards the next definition that is satisfiable proposition. Now what do you mean by this? A compound proposition for which there is an assignment of truth values to the variable that make it true. Now what does it mean? It means if we get one single true statement in any of the possible case, we are satisfied. Means that proposition is called as a satisfiable proposition. For example, if we have P and Q, ab ye statement se hum satisfied hai ya nahi hai, we need to check it. How to do that? Simply you need to identify whether there exists any value of P and Q such that it make it as a true. Kya kisi bhi possible case mein P and Q true hai? Yes. Kis case mein hai? That is when P is true and Q is true. If there exists any case for which this statement is true, then that proposition is called as the satisfiable proposition. Like P or negation P, we are still satisfied. Why? Because overall we are getting as a true statement. 
at last we need only one truth value right now we are getting in each and every case it is a true but if i take p and negation p p statement as a true here negation p is false overall result is false and if p statement is false negation p is true overall result is false ab ye kisi bhi case mein true nahi hai it means we are not satisfied with this proposition means it does not come under the part of satisfiable proposition such propositions are called unsatisfiable proposition means when the compound proposition is false for all assignment of the truth value to its variable then we say that a compound proposition is unsatisfiable like this now let's understand with the help of example how we can say that two statements are logically equivalent in this case we need to show this compound proposition and this compound proposition are logically equivalent so how to do that we will construct the truth table so first we need to identify how many unique propositions are there so there are three unique propositions that is p q r after getting the count of proposition now we can move to the truth table now how many possible cases are there in a truth table that is eight how whenever we have three proposition we say that there are two raised to power three possible cases in the truth table where this three represents the count of unique proposition so for that first take p q r three columns for these three unique propositions and if there are eight cases out of eight cases four cases are true and four cases are false how to write this one so firstly we will write four trues for the p proposition and four false for p proposition after that we write for the q how to write that one here we have taken four trues consecutively now we will divide this by 2 four by 2 is 2 in the next line we take two trues consecutively and two false consecutively now repeat the same procedure then for the r proposition here we have taken Two times true consecutively. Now divide two by two. That is one. Then we take one time true and one time false. Repeat this one with the alternative form. Now to deal with this proposition, we need P implies Q and P implies R. Now remember that P implies Q is false only in a one case. when p is true and q is false otherwise p implies q statement is true with this one identify where p is true p is true in all these four cases now identify in all these four cases where q is false that is here it means only in the case 3 and 4 we write false and rest are true next move to p implies r with the same concept p implies r is false only in a one case when hypothesis is true and conclusion is false now p is true in first four cases next identify r is false in first four cases as only in a case 2 and 4 in case 2 and 4 we write false and rest are trues then we need to write p implies q and p implies r it means we need to operate and operator between these two columns and operator is true when both the statements are true now in this case both the statement are true it means here we write true both the statement are not true so it is not true both the statement are not true both the statements are not true in the fourth case 
Now in the last four cases, both the statements are true. It means here we write true. And rest are false. Now we move to the next compound proposition that is P implies Q and R. First we need to evaluate Q and R. For Q and R, this statement is true when Q as well as R both are true. Otherwise it is false. Now let's identify where Q and R are true. So from the column second and third, apply the AND operator. True, true implies true. Both are not true, so it means false. Both are not true, false. Both are not true, false. Both are true, means here we write true. Both are not true, both are not true. In any of these three cases, it means these are false statements. And even here we write false. Next, we have P implies Q and R. This statement is false only in a one case when condition is true and conclusion is false. So, for the condition, we need to deal with the first column and for Q and R, we need to deal with this column. Now, P is true in first four cases. Now, identify when conclusion is false in the first four cases. That is from here. So the conclusion is false in the second, third and fourth case. Hence the result is false in these three cases and rest are trues. Now you can observe from this column and this column the truth values are same in each and every case. Means in the first, second case the truth values are same like true, true, then false, false. In the third, fourth, again both are false. From fifth to eighth, the cases are true. Whenever we have same truth values in the truth table, at last we can say that these two statements are logically equivalent. And we can write P implies Q and P implies R is logically equivalent to P implies Q and R. So this is how we can identify with the help of truth table whether two compound propositions are logically equivalent or not.